lo dividimos. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, how are you? Fine. Fine, fine. Okay, that's good. Okay. I think we're missing a couple of. Okay, 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 just okay. how many, 24, we're missing like four or five people, I guess. Okay, hello, how are you? Good? Fine. Okay, fine, that's great. My name is Luis Avellan, okay? And you know, I will be your English teacher during this four weeks, 16 classes, okay? And just let me refresh some of the things they told me, they told me. okay um you are in level a uh, principiante stress right beginner's three yes right? yes yeah. okay good now a uh, do you want to speak english or spanish spanish ah uh, I, know, I was expecting you to say English. Esa fue la respuesta incorrecta. No, está bien, ok. Eh, para iniciar quizás vamos a hacer algunas, pues, eh, digamos, eh, retomar quizás algunas indicaciones o cuestiones de, de la clase. Lo vamos a hacer en español y vamos a tratar de, de hablar lo más que se puede en inglés. Entonces aquí el único autorizado para hablar español soy yo, de ahí nadie más, ok. Entonces, este, no, es broma. Este, eh, vamos a tratar de, de ya las, las explicaciones, vamos a practicar inglés, las vamos a dar en inglés, y si hay algo pues que realmente se necesite explicar un poco más, este, ya lo vamos a hacer en, en español. Ustedes me dirán ahí si estamos claros con las explicaciones, cuando yo pregunte, are you, everything okay, any questions, ya ustedes sabrán si me dicen yes, no, entonces si se ha quedado claro lo que se explica o, o si necesitamos aún expandirnos un poco más. Eh, pregunta número uno, ¿el, ¿el sonido se escucha bien? Yes, sí, teacher, se escucha yes, bien. Va, yes. perfecto. Yes, teacher. Yes, thank teacher. You thank you, thank you. Ok, segunda pregunta. Bueno, voy aquí a unas indicaciones que me dijeron que les recordara de un documento que tienen que llenar. No sé si ya lo recibieron. Que me dijeron que tienen que imprimirlo, llenarlo. Es como una boleta. ¿No han recibido nada de eso? No. For... No, 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 yet. no, okay, cuando no, reciban, yet, no, 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 las clases son de lunes a jueves. Son cuatro días a la semana. Ok, pero a veces, en algunas ocasiones, como esta, se inicia en martes. Entonces, cuando se inicia en martes, terminamos viernes. O sea, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes. Para cumplir con las cuatro horas de la semana. Pero, ya las próximas tres semanas, las clases van a ser lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos a tener siempre cuatro, o sea, cuatro sesiones durante estas cuatro semanas. ¿Ok? Eh, luego lo otro que me dijeron es que las eh, tengo que estar pasando, tengo que pasar lista dos veces y hacer una captura de pantalla. ¿Ok? Entonces para eso tienen, me, eh, tengo entendido que ya les dieron estas indicaciones, pero siempre nos piden que las recordemos para que todos tengan pues su cámara encendida. Y, y exactamente así como están con sus nombrecitos ahí bastante formalitos, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí tiene 
solo el mío, este, también me han pedido que no, que no lo cambie, yo aparezco como inglés corporativo, pero eso es para hacer la diferencia entre quién es el maestro de todo el grupo. Si yo pongo mi nombre, pues nadie va a saber quién es el que está dando la clase. Entonces, por esa razón es que yo aparezco como inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero mi nombre ya saben que es Luis, que ya ustedes pueden eh, llamarme por mi nombre. Eh, yes, Miriam. You have a question. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Very nice. You. My name is Miriam Ivon Cabezas Miranda. Um, uh, what's your name, teacher? Luis? Luis, Luis? Avellan. Luis? Avellan. Okay. Okay, teacher. I'm gonna Thank write you. It. I'm going to write it there in the chat. Okay. That's my name, Luis Avellan. Okay. And perfect. Eh, ¿Qué más? Este, bueno, me dijeron eso, las clases de 8, de 8 a 9, a veces por alguna razón, o tenemos a veces una clase antes, podríamos comenzar 8, 8 y 1, 8 y 2, ok, pero y terminar a veces la clase de 9, 2, 9, 3, ok, entonces eso es eh, tratar de complementar los los 60 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces, no quiere decir tampoco vamos a empezar a las 8 y cuarto o vamos a terminar a las 9 y cuarto. ¿no? Eso puede ser uno o dos minutos por el cambio y el, y el espera a veces de que cargue el zumo o algo dependiendo del, de cómo esté el internet ese día a veces, aunque por lo general es rápido, pero por alguna situación, ¿verdad? Entonces esperaremos. Lo que no sabía yo es que estaban esperando en sala de, estaban en sala de espera. Entonces por eso creo que también que me tardé un poquito más hoy en dejarlos entrar. Pero ya estamos todos acá. Eh, preguntas, expectativas por el momento. Me gustaría escucharlos a ustedes. Si tienen alguna petición especial, alguna queja, no sé. O no sé, algunas eh, peticiones, algún eh, comentario, la expectativa de algo que les gustaría. Eh, no sé, tal vez que se explicara. Y que tal vez ya está en el programa, pero... Eh, si no está, pues lo podríamos ver si es factible que se pueda agregar. Así que, ¿les escucho? Ahí se ve cuando... Ok. ¿No questions? No, teacher. Vale, ¿alguna... No, no, no. Ok. ¿Alguna expectativa? A mí me gustaría que la clase fuera participativa y dinámica. Ok. Eso vamos a tratar de... Ver un video en el... Vamos a tratar de hacerlo... Eh... Acá lo, de algunas de las cuestiones que vamos a tratar de, de hacer es eso precisamente por la cuestión del, del grupo y que ojalá Zoom no nos, eh, nos permita hacer el, pues, se llama los breakout room, o sea, para poder, digamos, hacer un poquito más de, de práctica. ¿verdad? Entonces, ya veremos cómo, cómo tratamos de darle un poquito más de dinamismo. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, my name is Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Um, I think my camera won't work because I am working and it's dark where I am. Okay. Este, yes. sí. no, perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, bueno, se lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> <laughs> Incluso este, creo que para los, los grupos. Uh -huh. eh, no, no voy a poder trabajar mucho en los grupos porque como que mi teléfono no mucho para eso y ahorita estoy en el trabajo uh -huh. yo, tra yo trabajo relativamente en calle okay. entonces estoy así como <ríe> un poquito <ríe> desapercibida ahorita eh, por meterme a la clase, por lo menos sí voy a estar en la clase pero no, quizás no voy a participar mucho en los grupos ok este, va, mira, eso, eh, ¿cómo que se llama? recuerden que por ejemplo, los permisos y todas las cuestiones. Por ejemplo, yo 
usted me dice, no voy a poder estar en una clase o algo. Eh, yo agradezco cuando siempre que me ponen el teacher, hago un clase, tengo esto y lo otro, siempre les pongo, thank you for letting me know. Siempre agradezco por informarme, ¿verdad? Porque creo que es una diferencia que se toman al, al informarme. Entonces, eso lo agradezco. Y este, pero hay, eh, pero hay muchas de estas cuestiones que no dependen de, eso es lo que, por lo menos lo que nos dieron la indicación eh, nosotros es de que no dependen los permisos eh, de nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que, esto está bien que me lo comente, yo puedo, digamos, en algún momento si me hacen preguntas, mire, Claudia, ¿por qué no tiene tu cámara? Esto y lo otro. Por lo menos yo puedo decir, mire, me explico esto, ¿verdad? Pero ya digamos ahí alguna decisión o algo eh, este, al respecto o que no se conecten ustedes a clases, eh, ya también eso tendrá que ser este, administrativo, ¿verdad? Pero sí, yo, no hay ningún problema. Yo, yo trato de conectarme lo más que puedo, pero yo trabajo como, como agente policial. Ajá, soy policía. No, sí, no tenga pena. Entonces... En ocasiones yo no puedo encender mi cámara. Claro, no, no tengo pena. Ok, yo entiendo okay. eso, y así es que, por lo le digo, a veces son cuestiones administrativas que ya mejor se las explique ahí. Yo no voy a sí. forzar a nadie, o sea, perfectamente lo entiendo. Así que, gracias, y gracias, y le agradezco por la aclaración también, ¿verdad? Thank you. Bueno, no tenía que, you, you didn't have to, como dicen, no tenía que, pero. Ok, thank you for the clarification. Ok, veo que tienen ahí, ok, tengo a Miriam y a Evelyn. Vamos a ver con Miriam y luego Evelyn. Yes, Miriam. Yes, teacher, I would like that, uh, uh, que podríamos hablar uh, más inglés. Ok, perfecto. Interactuar más en el inglés. All este, right. Uh -huh. Please, teacher. Ok, good, no problem. That's not a problem. Thank you very much. Evelyn. Evelyn, eh, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta con respecto al material de apoyo que está en la plataforma. Uh -huh. He visto que es bastante material y mi pregunta es que si nosotros podemos avanzar conforme nosotros vayamos, digamos, ingresando a la plataforma o usted nos va a ir diciendo más o menos cuánto podemos avanzar con respecto a los temas. Uh, no, uh, that's a good question, that's a good question. Uh, The platform, the material is there, okay? This class, I come, I come to the class and I explain topic by topic. But mm -hmm. if there is one, uh, one of you who is probably, today we're gonna start with the section one, okay? The topic one, okay? And then, uh, but if somebody already started and he's in section two, Then if, he has a, if you have a question about section two, I can explain that, but you have to tell me before, right? If you tell me, hey, teacher, I need to know this, or Luis, I need, to, I need some help with the topic in section two, uh, knowledge check number three, then we go, we check, I explain this to you, and the explanation is good for everybody. And then after, I go back to the, to the topics, right? So I continue with the topics in the chronological order. Okay, but if one student or one of you is uh, probably going faster, okay, that you're going doing things uh, that you're rushing a little bit more, no problem. It's, you can you can do it at your own pace. Okay, you can do it at your own pace. Pueden ir a su propio ritmo. You can go at your own pace, no problem. If you need help in one of the topics, let me know. Ok, si llegan a necesitar ayuda, aunque si van más adelantados, pues me avisan y, y yo les explico. Ok, pero yo siempre voy a ir, digamos, en ese orden para ir llevando, digamos, el material, pero si alguien quiere ir más adelante, no problem, yo no los detengo. Ok, eh, de hecho, esa es una de las indicaciones también que nos han dado, ¿verdad? no detener a los estudiantes que quieran o los participantes que quieran ir más, más adelante o revisando eh, material in advance. Ok, ya con anticipación. I have no problem with that. Y así que yo no lo voy a limitar. Mire, no se me adelante. O mire, eso no me pregunte porque todavía no lo estamos viendo. No se preocupe. Ok. Eh, preguntas que tengan también. Este, yo no tengo ningún problema con que me pregunten. Así que 
si tienen dudas, pregunta yo siempre, y aquí acá rato estoy, any questions, are you okay, is everything, o sea, si ustedes dicen no, ok, I continue, si alguien me dice, mire, I don't understand this, o mire, esto ya lo explicó, pero no lo entendí, pues, me regreso, regresamos y lo explicamos. Así que confianza, ok, con confianza, aquí estamos todos para aprender, ok, no esperen este, bueno, si quieren incluso con la pronunciación, pregúntenme, eh, no problem about it. Recuerden que este grupo es para eso, para que todos aprendamos, nos sentamos en confianza. Y pues, las, por ejemplo, las preguntas que han hecho ahorita creo que son muy valederas y nos van a ayudar pues, para tener una mejor dinámica en la clase, ¿verdad? Ok, no more. ¿Alguien más? Ok, Evelyn. Sí, este teacher, con respecto, porque estaba viendo en la plataforma, eh, con respecto a las pruebas que salen ahí, porque hay unas prácticas, eh, esas ya son ya directamente que van incluidas en lo que es respecto a nuestras notas, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque ahí vi que cada una vale 0.33, uh -huh. entonces todas esas tenemos que irlas, o sea, si estudiamos, vea, pasarlas todas para que podamos tener al final una buena calidad. Uh -huh. Yo las, ajá, nosotros, yo la voy revisando aquí con ustedes para que vean ustedes, porque a veces hay detallitos, en la, no sé si en la, han tenido alguna situación en los niveles anteriores, que a veces que por una coma, que por un punto, que porque no uh -huh. se puso una, un apóstrofe sale diferente en el teclado, entonces este, a veces tenemos que, eh, para eso a veces lo resuelvo con ustedes, para que ustedes primero vayan viendo que no haya ningún inconveniente y luego pues para que para que también les sirva a ustedes de evaluación cuando ya lo hagan, ¿verdad? O si ya lo hicieron, pues ya van adelante, pues igual no hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Siempre pueden, creo, eh, siempre se puede eh, eh, corregir, siempre puede volver a repasar y volverlo a hacer. Entonces, creo que no hay límite de, 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 ¿cómo es que se llama? De, de veces que se pueda repasar cada una de esas pruebas. Eh, sí, la otra semana, en la segunda, el otro viernes tendríamos que estar ya terminando la, haciendo por lo menos el midterm, que es el primer examen, que ese sí es, digamos, el, la, la mitad del curso. Y a la siguiente, o sea, que ahorita tendríamos que ver de, de ahora para el otro viernes, tres secciones, ¿ok? Tres diferentes temas que vamos a ver. Ok. Then, if you have no more questions, let's the show let's let the show begin and then we're gonna have oh wait a minute solo déjenme esta todavía no es el screenshot que voy a tomar con ustedes pero si sí déjenme tomar ya la asistencia acá Entonces, porque tengo que hablar ahorita y lo, no, que no, no olvide pues ok Ok. Después les aviso para la, para la foto y la captura de pantalla que me pidieron. Ok. Esta es la asistencia. Good. Ok. Now we're going to start now with the first, uh, let me see, uh, topic. This is not what I selected. Here, okay, this is much better. Okay, so we have the first one, which is the um, a discussion. We have the first topic, this is lesson objective. 
And well, I'm gonna be, you know, picking names from from the screen and Daniel Antonio, would you please read this first uh, objective that we have here? Um, by the end of the class, you will learn the months of day. Uh, additionally, you will learn to about birthday. Okay, you will learn about birthdays, right? So that means that in about. this, uh, mm -hmm. yes, in this topic, the vocabulary is month, date, and to speak, you know, about birthdays. Now let's see the first video. And pay attention first to the vocabulary, okay? Second, to the pronunciation. And then if you have questions at the end, uh, you can let me know. Let me share the sound here. It's here now. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Hi, everyone. Additionally, you'll learn and practice in the months and date. Now, pay attention to the pronunciation. The transition of the first uh, two months, January and February. Okay. Now, Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. Okay. So March. It doesn't say February, right? It says February. February. Okay. So this is the way it sounds. April, May, June, July. And the dates. Months. January. January. February. February. January. February. Okay, not February. Okay. Now, listen to the others. I'm March. Saying. April. May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, 22nd. Okay. So 23rd. Sorry, sorry. 24th. Okay. So we have the month, okay, that you already heard the pronunciation. It says January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Then the dates. 
Uh, in Spanish, we usually say first, okay? But after that, we say two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we use the the different different numbers, right? But in English, we say first, January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd, January 4th, okay? It's a light. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, like if you were pronouncing the letter Z, right? Like if it is, you know, like when you say zapato in Spanish, right? It's una zeta. You say fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Then you have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th. Yes. Then after that, when you go after the 20, you go to 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It's like in the beginning, right? 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and then you begin again, 31st, in the same, the same cycle, right? 32nd, but for the month, is only to 31st maximum, okay? Then, now, you're gonna practice with your birthday. 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on, plus month, plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date 5th. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on July Fourth. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date fourth. Now is your okay? Questions about that? Look at that. Uh, it, it's like a math math formula, right? It's like, for example, you have special day. The verb to be is or are, depending if you're singular or plural. Then you have the preposition on. Then the month the month that the celebration is going to take place. And then you have the date. The date is the number, right? For example, you can say my birthday is on May 7th. Okay. It says a special day, Independence. Valentine, Valentine's Day is on February 14th on February 14th. Okay, you have this one. This, the day, the special day, the verb to be is, the preposition on, the month, and the number, the date. Clear? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. 
perfect. So far. Yes. So far, so good. And finally, we include yes. the date, fourth. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. There you go. Okay, so you see we have now, for example, the special days, right? What, what are some special days that we have in El Salvador? In January, what do we have in January? In general, right? In general, for example, what celebrations, what special celebrations or dates do we have in January? New Year. New Year's. The, the, the New Year Day, right? Yes, it's the January 1st. Uh -huh. What else? The Reyes Magos. Okay, then you say the three, the three wise men. The three was men, wise men day, I guess. The wise men, they call them. Okay. What else? The Don Bosco Day. When is it? In when is Don Bosco's Day? Yes, I remember. 31st. January 31st. January 31st. Okay, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, January 31st. Then we can say, for example. Uh huh. Uh, to to die the um, los acuerdos de paz <laughs> okay. okay. the peace agreement uh -huh. peace agreement day when was it el 13 no 16 <laughs> yes it's true yes it's true yes then uh for example um uh, the peace agreement day peace agreement Mother's day so the peace uh, peace agreement is acuerdo de paz this agreement, agreement is acuerdo. This agreement day is on January 16th, right? Yes. Thank you, Claudia. What else? Another day? In February? What do we have in February? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day is on February. 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 14th. Okay. 14th. Who said that? Aida. Aida or Nayansi? Anayansi. Okay, Anayansi. Can you can you please repeat the complete sentence about Valentine's? Valentine's, Valentine's Day is on February fourth, fourteen, fourteen. Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So you see, these are the, I mean, these are the correct. Uh, this is the correct structure, right? Valentine's okay. Day is on February fourteen. <laughs> Good. Another one. Who wants to mention another one? Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, Doctor's Day. April. Uh, uh, April. Um, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero uh, weekend. Semana Santa. <laughs> okay, the Holy Week. Uh, the Holy Week. The Holy Week is on. This year is in, because that changes, right? That changes. But uh, this, uh, let's say, for example, uh, Holy Week starts on the 26th, I guess. I'm not sure. Can you help me, people? I think that it's on March 26th this year. It's March. March, March 31st, I think. Um, yes, I think it's... It's 28th because it's the, the yes, last so, week. Uh -huh, the last week, yes. It's then, okay, Holy Week starts, because comienza, right? Holy Week starts on March 28th. On March 28th. Okay, very good. Another one. Teacher, uh, yes. how do you say, how do you say fiestas patronales? Patron, patron parties. Patron parties. Uh, Okay, in August, uh, uh, we have we have a feast. Uh, the patron party in San Salvador. Patron party. Uh -huh. In San Salvador. In San Salvador, yes. It's August the uh, 6th or 5th, right? 
three for six. Yeah. Okay. Now a uh, another Mother's Day. May ten. May ten. May ten. Uh -huh. May Mother's 10. Day is on May ten. May ten. Okay. Very good. The Father's Day. Father's Day. Uh huh. Is seventeen. No. You. June 17. Okay. Father's Day is on June 17th. Father's Day is on June 17th. Father's Day is on June 17th. Perfect. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Another one? Um, Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Diego? It's on September 15th. It's on September 15th. Okay. Good. Well, I think we have the idea clear, right? Now, the children I... day. Uh huh. October first. Okay. Uh, Children's Day is on October first. Okay. Yes, Children's it's Day is on October first. Christmas. Uh huh. Christmas. Christmas is on December twenty fifth. Okay, on December twenty fifth. <laughs> okay. Good. Day, day, de los difuntos. <laughs> death's day. The death's day. Uh -huh. um, is on. Is on November two. On November second. On November second. Yes, in English, right? In Spanish, you say two, but in English, say second. <laughs> okay. Yes, I say it's on November second. Okay. So you see, we have different celebrations, but now. I want you to practice the question when, when is, when's your birthday? Okay, look at the chat and say when. When is, when is your, when is your birth day? Okay. When is your birthday? And then my birthday my birthday is on uh, May 7. Okay. Eh, solo vean la M de May. Está en mayúscula, right? It's in capital M, capital M. In English, in English, we use the, the uh, January, February, March, April, May, the month in capital letters. Okay, in Spanish, it's in, in small case. Okay, in español se usa minúscula. But in English, siempre los, los months, los eh, días de semana y los, y los meses van they use capitalized, van con mayúscula, right? O sea, eso siempre a la hora de escribir, por si escriben alguna carta, acuérdense que se pone Monday, como que fuera mayúscula, ok, con mayúscula. Eh, eh, Monday 24, February eh, 2021. Se ponen February con capital R. Ok, yes. Ok, but I want you to practice, but you're going to practice the questions, ok? Let's see, um, I think I have here, but I don't see the name. And then say, uh, you did, you did. Okay, ask the question, when is your birthday to, uh, to Aida, Aida Rosales, right? Ask the question, hello, you did. Hi, Aida, uh -huh. when yes. is your birthday? That's correct. Aida, when is your birthday? Your microphone. Okay. What's 
your question? When is your birthday? My birthday is uh, on March 31st. On oh, March 31st. Okay, good. So it's going to be on vacation. Good. Aida, eh, choose a victim. Escoja una víctima ahí. And say, when is your birthday? Choose a victim. Pick a victim. Has to be a man. One of the boys. Um, Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Ask the question. Now the question. When? Um, no, the, Aida, ask the question. When is your birthday? Okay. When is your birthday? Uh, my, my birthday is on December 17. Very good, very good. It's on December 17. Okay, casi cerca el niño Dios, right? Very close uh, to baby Jesus. baby Jesus. Okay, good. Daniel, choose a victim. Um, Evelyn. Okay. Evelyn, when is your birthday? My, my birthday is on April 19th. On April 19th. Very good. Okay, Evelyn. Ask a question. I don't know. Uh, Romero Guzman, what's your name? Because I don't see the name in that. Evelyn Mariela. Ah, Evelyn, Evelyn. Yes, I can see now. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The question is to Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Mariana, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 6th. On September 6th. Okay, very good. Okay, Evelyn, ask a question to one of the boys. Um, Adrian, when is your birthday? Uh, okay, my birthday is on uh, September 7th. It's on September 7th. Por poquito. <laughs> yes, one day. Okay, you know, we can celebrate, we can celebrate the same day, right? We can celebrate on the 5th or on the 8th. El 5 o el 8, así que nadie, para que no se quejen, right? 6 or 7, you can say 5th or 8th. Okay, Adrian, ask a question. Choose a lady, choose a girl. Okay. Victimize um, a girl. Uh, Natalie. Uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 2nd. On July 2nd. Okay, Natalie, choose a boy. Choose one of the boys. Jerry. Hi, Natalie. Okay. Uh, Hi, Jerry. When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on July, July pardon, mm -hmm. 14th. On July 14th. Yes. Okay, guys. I think, uh, well, I think that you have the idea clear. Uh, I will ask you a favor, right? Si alguno de los, no los puedo hacer participar a todos por la cuestión del tiempo ahorita. Cuando hagamos grupos, si van a practicar todos, right? Ahorita porque veo que es algo sencillo y que... Tienen como que claro el, la idea, right? And no problem with the pronunciation. Pero si alguno tiene alguna duda con la pronunciación, please let me know, okay? En el momento me hacen saber, mire, ¿cómo se pronuncia esto? Don't worry, okay? Good. Hey, what happened? Now we're going to see. This one. Okay. This is the lesson objective. Next. And now we have, uh, let me see, Natalie, Miriam, Miriam Yvonne. Can you please read, read the objective here? Okay, teacher. And by the end of this, this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used, used, used 
status in a real life setting. Very good. I like this part, okay? I, I like to emphasize the, the part that when you say real life setting, what is okay, a real right. life setting? A real life setting is, for example, when you learn, you learn something in class, but you try to use examples from your life, okay? Then uh, not, yes. to follow, not to follow the examples from the platform or from a book or from a textbook, no, about your life, okay? For example, here, the, what we're going to see is and how to ask and answer questions using be going to. For example, be going to is used to express plans or predictions. Okay, plans or predictions. Okay, the future would be going to and a conversation would be happy. Okay, for example, what is going to happen tomorrow in your plans? Or what can we predict? what is going to happen in El Salvador, okay? What is going to happen in Guatemala? What is going to happen in different places? Now, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions you can be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future would be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted by the way in order to illustrate these examples I will do it without contractions I is the subject next we have the verb to be M after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb celebrate finally we add my birthday Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. 
let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart, are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are, the subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. are yes or no questions so to answer them it's quite simple okay questions about the teacher we're going to yes teacher mm -hmm. uh, what is the difference uh, with going to and will okay will for example is when you have, well going to is when you have plans okay for something that you are planning to do something and or you can predict what is going to happen because you can see some signs for example what happens if you see the sky and it's very dark and the clouds are very low what can we predict it's going exactly it's going to rain right uh, and when we use will, okay, will is similar, but sometimes will, sometimes it sounds more with more certainty. Okay, will lo hacemos con más, ajá, con will a veces lo hacemos con más certeza, okay, or something para decir cualquier cosa que va a suceder en el futuro, right? For example, I will, uh, but you can say, for example, it can be in, in, uh, a probability too and not very certain. Uh, I'll give you two examples. I will buy a house in Miami someday. Okay. Suena certero o no? Convencido o no? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Suena como inseguro, ¿verdad? Eh? I will buy a house como un sueño. I will buy a house in Miami someday. Okay. If I say, I will buy a house in Miami next month. Eso suena ya más que ya tengo la plata, right? O probably incluso ya está escogida la casa, right? And the other one is, for example, when you say, I'm going to buy a house, I'm going to buy a house in Miami eh, in three months. Okay, es un plan que tengo y que okay, teacher. three months I will be done, okay? Eh, okay un, ejem un ejemplo más de diferencia con el will es cuando uno dice, I'll see you tomorrow. O cuando uno decide algo en el momento. Ok, for example, cuando vamos a, la, a un restaurante, decimos que I will, uh, I'll order, I'll have, voy a comer, comeré, ordenaré. Ok, se usa el will. Ok. Eh, o cuando dice, por ejemplo, usted ve que alguien necesita ayuda, porque va cargando una bolsa o algo, dice, hey, I'll help you. I'll do it for you. Yo lo hago por usted, don't worry. 
¿okay? Una decisión que uno toma en el momento que va a ser, dice, I will do it, I'll do it, I'll get it. Suena el teléfono fijo de la casa, todos sentados viendo la televisión, el partido emocionante, and then suena y dice, ok, don't worry, I'll get it. Yo contestaré. It's decision in the moment, ok? So that's the difference between will and going to. And going to, you can use it for plans and for eh, predictions. Y en algunos casos, a ver que son bien parecidos, right? Good. Pero esas son las diferencias mayores. Okay, what else? Any other question? Okay, in this case, what we're going to do, what we are going to practice is about our plans, right? What our plans are for the weekend, for next month, for next week. Okay, uh, for example, what are you going to do? General question, general question. What are you going to do on Sunday? I am going to go a party. I'm going to go to a party, okay, good. What are you going to do on Friday night? What are you going to do this Friday night? I'm uh, going to I'm going to go to the church. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Por eso no le digo nada porque bueno, pero se le olvidó la clase del viernes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be in class. Okay? It's okay. No se los olvide. Después le estoy preguntando. I'm going to be in class, right? I'm going okay. to be in class. Teacher. No, la iglesia estaba bueno, pero no le dije nada. Está bien. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do uh, tomorrow morning? What I'm going to. I'm going to work. I'm going to, eat. I'm going to work. Uh huh. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, yes. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's my day to take a shower too. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to clean my house. I'm going to clean my house. Sounds like a plan. Good plan. What else? I'm going to swimming. I'm going to, okay. I'm swim. Going, uh, very good. I'm going to go swimming. Estas expresiones aquí se oye como going to go. Okay. Pero se dice go swimming, go shopping, go skiing. Uh -huh. Como acciones, actividades fuera de casa, se usa go. Go swimming, go shopping, go sightseeing, go walking. Okay. And it's also going okay, to go. Yes. Going to go. I'm going to do exercise. Exercise, okay. Well, I'm going to do exercise. Good. What else? I uh, I going to go to travel. Travel. I'm going to go to travel. I'm going to travel. Okay. I'm going to travel. Good. I'm going to travel from here to Guatemala. I'm going to travel from here to I don't know to La Unión, okay, or to San Salvador, whatever. What else? I'm going yeah. to I'm going to study. Uh, at night I'm going to uh, study at night at night yes, yes very good yes that's good excellent what else another plan that you have for tomorrow I am going to go to, to the beach I am going to go to the beach okay great let's go to the beach everybody good what else another plan for tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. Okay, people, let's just uh, give me a second. Okay, continue telling me, telling me uh, fresh, I mean, more sentences. All right, another picture. Vamos a tomar la, la foto que tiene la captura de pantalla. Okay, just uh, let me see. Can I make this thing smaller? It's interrupting. I don't know if it's a little bit bureaucracy, but anyways, it has to be done. Okay, tell me more sentences. You speak while I do this. 
what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to go Santa Tecla. I'm going to go to Santa Tecla. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'm going to go uh, to the. I'm going to go uh, supermarket. 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 Yes. Supermarket. I'm to the supermarket. Uh huh. I'm going to eat pupusas. I'm going to eat pupusas. Okay, very good. What else? I am, I am, I am going to listen to music. I am going to listen to music. Okay. See, only see, for example, cuánto verbo, how many verbs you are using. Okay. Eight. And this is also a good practice. Go ahead. I'm going to cook for dinner. I'm going to cook dinner. For dinner. Okay. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm okay. going to go to the river. I'm going to? To go uh, to the river. I'm going to go to the river. Okay, I like that one. That one is good too. I'm going to pay my business. I'm going to pay my my business. Uh, what are you what, going to? Uh, uh, yes. How the how? Uh huh. Yes. You're going to pay what? Uh, uh, the taxes. Taxes. Okay, that's good. Repeat the sentence, please. Complete it. I'm going to to pay uh, the my taxes. business. I uh -huh, the taxes. My business. The... Yes. Yes, you can. I'm going to pay my business taxes, or I'm going to pay the taxes of my business. Very good. Okay, you see. Teacher, I'm going to wake up at <laughs> six p.m. I'm going to wake up at what time? I'm going to wake up at six p.m. Six p.m. No, too late. Or, yeah. <laughs> or thirty, and take. I, I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a shower in La Pila, right, and then the sink. <laughs> very cold water to wake up. Uh, look, <laughs> this is exactly. Eso lo que les decía. A real situation. Use your language about your life. Things that you're going to do. Okay, not things from the book. Okay, I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to wake up late. I'm going to. I'm going to call my husband, I'm going to call my boyfriend, I'm going to, I don't know, okay? I'm going to take my children to the school, okay? Things that you do every day. Practice many, many, how many verbs? You mentioned a lot of verbs, okay? So you have the, you already have the language, you already have pronunciation, good. So then, what do, what do you need now? Practice. Remember this, practice makes perfect. Okay, if you don't practice, probably you know a lot of words, you know a lot of English, okay? But if you don't practice, it's like, uh, I know how to, I know how to ride a motorcycle. Yo sé cómo manejar una moto, okay, but in theory, la teoría. Pero si la agarro, I fall down, right? But if I practice, if I practice every day with a motorcycle, that's a different story. Okay, everybody? Okay, it was a big pleasure to meet you. Okay, very dynamic okay. group, you know. I like because you're participating. Okay, feel free to participate in class. Siéntanse en confianza de decirme, mire, teacher, mire, me ha mencionado, no me ha hecho participar. Okay, díganme. Okay, para, o sea, siéntanse en confianza. Okay, preguntas to lecture to para participar, para pronunciar, no se preocupen. Que para eso es este foro, okay, para aprender. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Vamos, Catherine, tell me. Este, el gonna se podría no. usar como una contracción del going to. Mire, el gonna es así, como quien dice. Es el mismo y sí se usa mucho. De hecho, es, es que eso es, porque uno dice, voy a ver, es el gonna sí. Entonces, <risa> eh, sí, ah, eh. bueno. Entonces, sí se usa mucho. De hecho, al hablar se usa más, I'm gonna go. Eh, Pero a la hora de escribir formalmente, o sea, en un chat usted puede poner gona, no problem. Pero si alguna vez van a escribir uh -huh. un mensaje, una carta o un, algo formal, usen going to, ¿ok? Pero eh, eh, normalmente aquí podemos usar, um, what are you going to do tomorrow? Ahí se han visto la película de, ¿cómo que se llama esta? Bad Boys. Uh -huh. Dice, what you going to do? Yeah, what, you, ah, sí, what sí, you're going to do is, what are you going to do? Ese es el clarísimo ejemplo de, espéreme, voy a ver. 
¿ok? Cuando decimos en español, unimos esas palabras, eh, pero es, eh, se entiende y, y, y es aceptable, pero informal, right? The same with gonna, no problem, you can use it. Ah. Ok. Ah, bueno, gracias. No problem. Ok, everybody, any other question? Not for today. Ok, then practice. Eh, si quieren adelantar en la plataforma, adelante. Si tienen preguntas, mañana, o sea, lo que voy a hacer siempre preguntarles al inicio es que si tienen preguntas de la plataforma, que si adelantaron o algo, y, y ahí pueden aprovechar okay. a decirme antes de arrancar la clase. Ya después seguimos, el, vamos a seguir el orden normal del, de los temas para irlo repasando, right? Pero si tienen alguna duda, la podemos exteriorizar antes. Ok, nice people, nice to meet you. I will see you tomorrow. Ah, le voy a dejar una tarea. Todas las noches. La tarea es dream in English. Ok. Pero mañana me cuentan qué soñaron. But in English, ok. What, teacher? <laughs> ah, sueñen en inglés. Ok. So that means that you oh, okay, quiere decir que se acuestan pensando en inglés, right? Ok. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.